What is going on everybody? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to reclaim at least 10 gigabytes of storage on your ROG Ally. Now I just want to mention that this will only work if you have done a cloud recovery installed via the BIOS. It should theoretically work if you haven't done any cloud recovery storage because there should be a certain folder there and this will not work if you have done a fresh Windows 10 or 11 install from USB as the extra files won't be created. So what we have to do is click on start, settings and then go down to storage and it will start calculating the folder sizes. And as you can see on the top right I have 880 gigabytes free of my 1 terabyte SSD. Strangely, the installed apps show is just under 9 gigabytes. I can't see how the apps are totaling to that size. Maybe something's hidden. Anyway, let's head back and click on other. And you can see eSupport is 10.5 gigabytes. So I'm just going to click on there and it's going to open the folder. So basically, these get created when you do the Asus Cloud Recovery install and it has all of the drivers on your ROG Ally as you can see here. Now you can always download these uh, drivers from the official website so if you want you can back up these into a separate folder but what I'm going to do is go all the way to the root of the C drive and I'm just going to delete it because I can always get the latest drivers from the website. So once that is deleted, we need to permanently delete it from the recycle bin. And as you can see, there's just over 8,000 files. So I'm just going to go back. And as you can see on the top right, it now says 890 gigabytes free. Now the installed apps is on the top having the bigger size and other has shrunk as you can see. And another thing is the temporary files. My one is not showing too big here but before I actually had maybe just over 2 gigabytes. There were like additional language files that you can delete and some other files I can't remember. But remember you can go in there and delete it as well. And as you can see the e-support folder is no longer there. So that wraps up for this video. If you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.